guys, it's Hook and Real in here, and I'm going to show you on uh, good baits uh, to throw during spring and summer. Early spring, mid-spring, summer. Really just good baits in general. Alright, so as I get my tackle out of my tackle box, um, I like to show you my new shirt and there it is hook it in real in new jersey and as i turn around i don't know if you can see there's a bass on the back and it says hook it in real in new jersey and it does say my last name on the back i'm not sure if you saw that and it says lose on the side it says dial on the other I like using Lou's lures, I like using Daiwa rods, and uh, yeah, alright, so, <clears throat> alright, let's get to the video. So, I will probably be doing a giveaway soon, so I'll leave um, some stuff in the description about explaining the giveaway, and um what you need to do to enter and when the giveaway comes out i'll also add that stuff in the description but just make sure you check out the description during this video and um it'll explain everything um and one important thing to enter the get uh the um contest giveaway you need to have um the app kick and kick will be the app that i could personal message you um to tell you that you're the winner and you'll have to give me your address of your mailbox and stuff so i could uh send you the prizes to you and i'm not going to tell you what the prize is yet but um you know once the giveaway video comes out you'll figure out everything so i'm not going to spoil too much but all right enough with all my talking and stuff let's get to the video good baits to throw in general if you're a beginner fisherman this is the video for you that you would like to see. All right, so starting, I would say, just with soft plastics, one of my favorite lures to throw as a soft plastic is a Gary Yamamoto 5-inch Sanko. All right, this is the original Gary Yamamoto 5-inch Sanko, not the Pro Sankos and stuff. But, um, yeah, I mean, this is Green Pumpkin. It has black and silver flakes in it. And you Texas rig these with a bullet weight on the end. And, yeah, this is great for throwing in weeds. Um, maybe flipping it near docks, under docks. Uh, yeah, skipping it under docks and stuff. Wacky rigging. Um, and, really, the way that you move this is when you Texas rig it, you reel in, you stop a bit, let it sink. Well, that's if you don't have a bullet weight on your reel in very slowly stop let it sink a bit reel in that's my way of doing it and that's the way that caught me bass and then if you do have a bullet weight i just kind of reel and jig it at the same time and it gives a pretty good action and the bass love it um i'm not going to try to make this video too long because i tried to upload a video last time and it said it was too long and it couldn't upload so now i'm remaking this video i'm trying to make it a bit quicker but still have all the necessary information in the video. So, uh, I also like Z-Man Crawdads, throwing that near rocks and stuff. This is Green Pumpkin Orange Claw. I, I believe I haven't used these yet. This is my first impression. Um, I hear very good things about them. They have elastic in them called Elastec for Z-Man products. And, yeah, you Texas rig these, throw them near structure, and um, just took them right in the back and... You could also Texas rig them, put a bullet weight on, and, uh, sorry for my dog, she's just barking. But, um, you just kind of, uh, reel in and jig it at the same time, and it'll create the action of the claws flying up, and the sand coming out, and the craw uh, the crawfish going back like that. So. Like, when, like, um... My mistake, uh, sorry, again, for my dog, I don't know, she probably sees like a bird or something, um, but another one, a great one, is if you, uh, shake, if you put a shaky head on these, uh, these are, this is called a zoom trick worm, 
And this, I'm not sure what color it is. I think it is watermelon. Not sure. I don't think it's watermelon. Never mind. It's kind of like brown, but it's got some black and um, red flakes in it. And that's really fantastic. You shaky, you put a shaky head on them and, you know, work the shaky head however you want to work it. Uh, most likely by jigging it, kind of like you would do with the jig. And, yeah, Zoom Trick Worms, they get a lot of hits. Um, here, I have a Berkeley Ribbon Tail here. These have fantastic action in the water. I mean, the tail spins perfectly. And, um, I got a bunch of hits. I actually caught a uh, four-pound bass on, uh, one of these ribbon, uh, Berkeley Ribbon Tails. And I don't know what color, it's purple, and it has art, it has green flakes in it. So, and then, yeah, you have all your necessary hooks. You have your weedless hooks. You have regular Texas rig hooks. Everybody knows all this basic stuff. Unless you're a beginner, that's pretty much all the hooks you need. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned. Also, swim baits, they're good if you rig them up with, uh, if you Texas rig them with these. It has a belly weight and a screw. And, um, yeah, if you Texas rig them, they're very good. Alright, so that was the soft plastics. Alright, now we'll get into more so uh, jigs, frogs, and jerk baits, like top water, and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, let's get into this. Right here, I have on my rod right now, I have a Booyah Pad Crasher Frog, and that's fantastic. But what I have in my hands right now is what we're going to want to talk about. Alright, so this is a live target frog uh, made by Coppers, and I trimmed the, um, the skirts to make them shorter because they were too long, I thought. And, yeah, so I trimmed them. Not super even, but I could fix that. And, um, these are, like, unreal on how real they look. I mean, toss these in cheese and stuff, and you get a lot of hits. These are great frogs. I would recommend to go buy one. Um, yeah. And then what we have here is our football head jig in uh, peanut butter and jelly color. These are great. Love football head jigs. You know, toss these on beds, you'll get a lot of hits. Um, yeah, that's jigs. Here is a Z-Man, what is this? Not a chatterbait, but Z-Man Chatter Frog, that's what it's called. Uh, Z-Man Chatter Frogs, yep. I mean, you could put them in beds too and hop them. But I like to actually reel these in like you would do with a, um, like a crankbait or something. Or a lipless crankbait. Just reel them in like a normal um, crankbait and kind of jig it a little bit also. And it looks like a frog swimming through water. And I've actually gotten hits by working it that way. What we have here is the Raffala Husky Jerk. And, um, yeah, these are floating. And these are these are great. I mean, I like these. Um, I actually caught, a, like, three, like, a two and a half pound bass on this. And, I mean, I, from my experience, experience... Uh, I've had all good experiences with them. One of my favorite baits, Raffala, is one of my favorites, but another one is Gary Yamamoto in Soft Plastics and Hard Baits. They're just an all-around good company. As you can see in the eye right there, it's got that little Gary Yamamoto sign. Let me try and focus that. Yeah, it's not really going to focus very well. But this is a great bait. It's a, a suspending bait. Uh, I believe it goes... Uh, f uh, three to four feet or something, something like that. But it's a sp it's a suspending lure, and yeah. Then you have the original raffle jerk bait. These are actually really big. Compare it up to my chest. That's how big they are. Um, but to be honest with you, I've heard good things about these, but I haven't caught anything on this for the two years that I've had it. And I used it for the first year a lot, and I still didn't catch any, oops, 
I still didn't catch anything on it. And then I stopped using it for the second year because I wasn't catching anything on it. So, I mean, you could buy them, try them out, see your experiences, and let me know in the comments below how they work for you. But for me, I haven't really gotten uh, great uh, stuff with this uh, jerk bait. And then here is a, um, what do they call it, jitterbug. Uh, these are just common top water lure. I mean, they make a lot of racket on the top water. They bounce around all over the place. The bass go crazy. Everybody should really have a jitterbug. I mean, they're nice. Alright, that's that. And now the crankbaits. Well, I got a lot of crankbaits. So, I'm going to try and do this really quick. Alright, so, oops. Alright, so I'm just going to lower my camera because I don't want to take these out. I just put them away. And I don't want to really mess up my tackle box um, any more than I already did. Alright, so let's see how I can do this. Alright, so right here I have the KVD uh, square ball crank crankbait uh, in a finesse color and that is good. I mean, it digs its nose in the sand or whatever you're fishing in really well. Tracks the bass nice. I have a lot of raffle of DT series. I have one here. I have one here. 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 Oh, oops. Here. Here. And here. And they're all fantastic. I have nothing wrong about them. Right down here, I, um, this is a Storm Arashi. Square ball crankbait. They're just as good as the KVD crank uh, square ball crankbaits. And what am I missing? There's another KVD crankbait. And here is a lure I got for 50 cents a crankbait. And here's another Gary. Oops. There's a Gary Amoto crankbait right here. Sorry, I'm pointing up there. I'm looking at the camera and everything's upside down for me. So, um, yeah, these are all fantastic crankbaits. And I'll give you a good look at them just like that. And, um, yeah, that's all the crankbaits there. And, yeah. So that's my crankbaits. And then I just have a little section in here. I'm not going to take these out either. Well, I'll take some of them out. All right, so what I have here is I have a Seville Magic Swimmer. Fast sinking. Can't, um, these are unbelievable. I mean... They're like $24, but I got it on sale at Cabela's for 6 I think it looks like an eel, though. I don't know why. It looks kind of weird, doesn't it? It looks like an eel, like a moray eel. But they're great. Here's live target swim baits. They're great, too. You have rattle traps. Can't go wrong with these. I have a crawl color right here, and I also have a mirror color. I have a Spro Uruku Shad. They're fantastic. Uh, fire tiger jerk bait, which I mean if I were to use anything I would use these for catching live bait for catching bass like bluegill and stuff So that's why I have it in here uh, Scatter wrap. What is it? Yeah, no rip and wrap not scatter wrap. Sorry my mistake. This is the rip and wrap This is a scatter wrap and all you can't go wrong with any of these baits in here and They're all fantastic. Hope my video helped you out for all of you get all of you beginner fishermen and even advanced fishermen that still need help um please comment like and subscribe i know i don't have many subscribers i still love making the videos and i'll try and make a video every week all right thanks for watching uh appreciate it and um like i said make sure to comment like and subscribe all right see you next video this is hooking a reel in new jersey